So in terms of uh, battery life, the Samsung Galaxy S5 comes with a 2,800 milliamp battery, which is massive in itself, but there's a lot of software optimizations. So you can see here, I've got a power saving mode and then I've got an ultra power saving mode. So when you go into power saving mode, you can basically just turn off background data and you can restrict the performance. And it also has this mode where you can turn, you can just turn the colors off. So everything becomes grayscale but um, it doesn't affect the performance of the device, so you can still browse the web, you can still play games, but it will just be in this grey colour. Um, but when you're really running low on juice, what you can do is you can turn on the ultra power saving mode, and basically what this does is it will just completely turn every, all the unnecessary apps off, it will turn it to grayscale mode, um, and it will only just have the limited functionality, so it takes a few seconds to uh, get into this mode. But the interface is, if you've seen the HTC One M8, it's very similar to that, in that it just changes the interface to the basic applications, but this just turns it completely to black and white as well. And as you can see down there, it's saying that it's gonna give you over 10 days of standby time. Uh, you can still use the internet and use phone and your messages, and you can add in um, a couple of other applications. So you can add in the clock or Google Plus if you want. Um, but yeah, this is really the mode when you're really struggling, say you've got 10% or less and you really need to eke out as much battery life as, as you can, then this is, the, this is the mode for you. And of course, you can always take off the, uh, the back of the uh, cover and carry around a spare as well if you want, which is, uh, this is one of the only high-end phones that you can do that with.